Welcome back to Darkwood. We've now gained the magic needed to continue in the mansion, and Alex seems partially preoccupied with the blood on the wall and other times doesn't care. Kind of just an on-off sort of relationship going on there. <laughs> what is Alex doing? <laughs> just making sure that they're keeping an eye on it. I always do that. Oh, I also did configure the dead zone for the controller, by the way. What was Alex looking at there? Is there something on the ceiling? Oh, Alex is doing it again. I bet there's blood on the ceiling, isn't there? Don't play with your sword, Alex. Oh yeah, there's blood up there. Anyway, yeah, I configured the dead zone for the controller, so should have less of an issue with my character moving when I don't want them to. Should make it a lot easier to cast spells. So we should have two areas available to us. At least two areas. One of which is that door that I need to insert the sword into, but I think before that, what I want to do is... Um, I want to try opening the dresser. We'll see what's in there. <laughs> Ringing phone. Who's on the other end? Hello? Remember me, Alex. This can't be happening! Okay. How's my sanity doing? Uh, it's at like 60%. Was that dresser? I think it was here, right? Yeah. Um. What do I actually do, though? Like, I can't insert a sword inside of it. Can I enchant the key? Can't be enchanted. I think I also need to change the alignment of this, the enchant spell that I have auto-assigned. Because in the auto-assignment of the spell, you choose what you want the alignment to be, and I need to move it to a different one. So, quick spell... No, that's just a look at the quick spells, right? Is it? Ah, oh, right, so quick spell just shows you what you have assigned. You can't actually assign anything from there. You have to go to the spell list and then do assign. So enchant item, assign. So I'll choose the other alignment. Assign it to Y. Okay. Oh, and the color reflects the alignment. Okay. I guess I'll make recover the same alignment, I suppose. I mean, why not? Okay. But yeah, I don't know how that's actually going to help me. I mean, I could try... I could do that, but I don't think that's going to do anything. And it said that I couldn't enchant the key, so even with this other alignment, yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. And I can't use it, right? The key's definitely a dresser key can't find any means of unlock yet. Huh. Okay, maybe I just need some other spell. Maybe that's the right alignment, but I need a different spell. Let's just check real quick. Can we get through this barrier over here now? What symbol was in front of this? Yeah, isn't that the symbol that I've got? Hmm. I must have a spell with this alignment that I need to do. Let me enchant my Gladius. Just try attacking it? Oop. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I actually need to heal myself, don't I? Did that actually heal me? It doesn't even look like it healed me. I didn't see my health bar go up. Well, 
Wait, the recover spell is not healing me? I'm confused. That is what that spell is, right? Recover. Yeah. Is it the alignment that... Like, do I need to cast Recover with a different alignment? Let's try the other alignment. That one healed me. Huh. Interesting. I don't really know exactly what to make of that. But I guess we want Recover to be the other alignment. Anyway, we're full on health. Still don't know how to open this. So let's go down to the door that needs this sword. I think it was in the kitchen. Yeah, here it was. But before we do that, wasn't there something... That painting that showed, like, the different alignments? Okay, that wasn't in here. It was in a different room down here. Yeah, here it was, right? Yeah, okay. So... If I'm understanding that correctly, I'm guessing it's saying that red is good against green, but weak against blue, and, and so on and so forth. And it looks like purple's right in the center, and it looks like it's not strong or weak against anything, so it's neutral, I suppose? So blue, which is the color of my enemy, I guess? Because that's the one I chose. I mean, that's not... That's not the only one I chose. That's the one I chose at the beginning of the game as Pius. But then more recently, playing as I forgot their name, we picked the red one. So I don't know. I don't know what the particular alignment of any particular enemy is. But yeah, red against green, green against blue. Anyway, let's go through the door. noise as if I stepped on it. Did I step on it? Oh no, it's fine. There it is. Mm hmm? Among the pantry contents is a spice jar with a scrap of paper hidden inside. The kitchen is as empty as a library is full. A reflection of her grandfather's attitude. Always learning, reading, studying, rather than eating. Firmly sealed glass spice jar, the faint aroma of Arabian spices is tantalizingly emanating from it. There's a piece of paper inside it. Should I open the jar? Yes. Oh, another chapter page, The Lurking Horror. The future is yours. The light in the Age of Darkness has been extinguished. The Pillar of Flesh has been constructed. The Master of Chaos, the Keeper of the Ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate!
After the chapter page is removed, the spice jar is no longer needed. Alex discards it. Okay, so I'm guessing those kind of like f flashes that we see sometimes is probably something that's either happening right now or like very, very near to now. So the pillar of flesh has been constructed. We saw a picture about that showing uh, it was like a scale model of a person next to a tower of flesh, right? So apparently that's important to bring evil back to the world. A huge tower of flesh. <laughs> cool. That, that's just how Alex looks at blood, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's there. Hmm, cool. Oh, yeah, no, it's still there. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah, it's still there. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. It has been two weeks since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now, I am truly alone, and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine, and live in it as my forefathers have, to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure, and in my time here, I have to make them mine. Okay, so now we're into the much more recent past, actually exploring the very mansion itself. So this is the strange person I think we've seen. I think this is the person we saw go through that weird spot in the wall, like the secret door, and also we saw a picture of them. Flintlock pistol ammunition. A desk cluttered with notes and writs, mostly business to do with the Royvis estate. Small collection of Maximilian's medical journals, references, and reports. Oh, I can probably go into this secret spot now, right? Wait. Is the secret spot just this door? Or was it, like, here? I, I, I'm pretty sure this door wasn't here in the present. The door to the servants' quarters is securely locked. Maximilian, however, can't help but feel uneasy. An ominous presence lurks behind that door, making the hairs on his neck stand on end. To the servants' quarters, huh? I guess the Serpents of Evil lurk within. I see strange lines on the glass as if it's meant to be broken. Stained glass window, resplendent with bright colors and exquisite workmanship. There's something odd about it, perhaps a curious detail of its shapes and content. Well, it looks kind of like an evil eye overlooking a city. And yeah, it definitely looks like it's meant to be broken. And also, this looks different from how it does in the present. Uh, what do I have on me? Oh, I actually have the pistol itself. Well, I could try shooting it then. Journal. Used to take notes on medical and pathological analyses. Yes. Can I read it? I guess not. Oh, his music's groovy. It's odd, but I like it.
<laughs> Alright, let's equip this. Alright, I don't think I have much ammo, right? One shot here, and then five here. Well, damn. Where I just came from. Hi. Well, I'm glad they don't mind that I just have my pistol out. Uh, so this is the room we're in the present. It's dark, and I can't go in there until I get it, get the power working again. A state-of-the-art interior outhouse. A polished teak and mahogany finish. It's truly a sight to behold and experience. <laughs> sight to experience. I can shit indoors. The servant is preoccupied with his duties. Just to make sure I don't forget to save for, like, the entire episode episode or chapter or whatever you want to call it. Let's save. Gotta get in the habit of saving. It's really weird, you know, new games, like, you just don't usually have to worry about saving generally. Or if you do, it's just like a quick press of a quick save button. As well as auto saves and stuff like that, but this game, I don't think saves at all. So if you don't save, well, you can go through the entire game, die once and have to go back to the beginning. I'm going to assume all these paintings that didn't have descriptions in the present don't have descriptions now. The creepy statue that follows me isn't here anymore. Oh, shit. Hi. Preoccupied. Mutters under his breath, not realizing, realizing that Max is nearby. He appears to be distressed at his lot in life, working all the time. Okay. So, what do we have here? Oh, I don't have access to magic yet because I don't have the tome, right? Right. An open letter. A letter written with some precision in longhand. Dear friend, the antiquity of which you ask is indeed the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Or a copy of it, at least. Its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it, as have most scholars who have tried. It will remain within the sanctity of the mansion, for in the wrong hands it would be a powerful weapon. Peruse it if you will, but beware its magic. It is a harsh mistress. Aaron Roivis. I wonder if it's in the servants' quarters then, and that's why there was a weird feeling emanating from it. Well, the dresser doesn't have that strange lock that it does in the present. The mirror's grim reflection returns Max's questioning gaze, his face racked with sleepless nights, and a strange gleam in his eye hint at a growing odd demeanor. Growingly odd demeanor. They're giving me so much ammo, I'm definitely gonna have to fight soon. This looks pretty much the same. I don't think the carpet was green in the present, though. I think it was red, I want to say. Oh, hello. 
There's no door here, huh? Oh, more ammo. Oh, what? That is definitely not what I was looking at. Uh, same description as before. Jesus! Please pick up the ammo. Do not shoot. What is this? Hmm. An oil painting of the mansion's foyer hangs on the wall. Max wonders why the artist would paint an inaccurate picture of one end of the room with such detail and clarity that it approaches realism. Indeed, it's almost unbelievable. It's almost as if it's a hint or something. So that shows this area, right? With the door that isn't actually there now. Lights there. Table. Is that a servant coming down? Yes. I wonder what would happen if I tried to shoot a servant. I wonder if he would let me. That's there. Two paintings on the wall. And then of course the door. Hm. The wall is decorated with a color triangular design. Although Max has seen this particular embellishment time and time again, its significance still evades him. Ah, oh, damn servants painting mysterious symbols on my wall. Painting inaccurate pictures. Cold moonlight filters in through grime-stained windows. Even with servants cleaning every day, the house never seems to get very clean. As if the very nature of the house itself is soiled. <laughs> Little on the nose there, huh? That is definitely not what I'm looking at. Whilst performing her duties, the servant makes idle chit-chat about the room's temperature. Alright, let's check that letter. A letter scrawled by a panicked hand with clotted ink. Dear friend, the house has been forsaken by the ancients. I dare not enter it for fear of my mortal soul. I would suggest that you leave also. Bring the book. It is a far more potent tool than you have learned, and may well, sw well swing the balance in our favor. Aaron Roivis. A pump handle is sitting on a barrel inside the pantry. What is it doing there? What does that say? Dick's Brands? It's all Dick's Brands. I see spice and... imported something. A lot of spices. The piano isn't here anymore. Yeah, this is still here. There's some, something written beneath the image. When darkness spreads its wings before my master... Oh, before my master, Uliath's greatest foe, the path to truth will be opened. When darkness spreads its wings before my master, before my master, is there supposed to be a comma there? Before my master Uliath's greatest foe, I guess there isn't. The path to truth will be opened. Oh, I, I was thinking this is some like sort of complex thing that I need to remember, but I guess I just move the crow to this. fire just burned me in punishment. <laughs> the fire just lashed out at me. It's like, you fool. I should read that again. 
beneath their greatest foe. The greatest foe is green. Okay, gotcha. Yes, enter the secret passage and crawl over the hot coals. Burn your fingers and legs. Seriously, how did I get through there without burning myself? Okay, the fire went out, but the coals are still there. Come on. This appears to be a wax rubbing of some kind of carved pattern. The central point is an odd line to design, a symbol of something. Is that another pistol? An aged flintlock pistol rests on a display stand fixed to the wall. Picked it up. What, can I dual wield these? Oh, I can. Can I shoot them at the same time? No, but I guess I could shoot them back to back. Does it reload on both? It does. <laughs> cool. Ah, there's the tome. Don't think it's worth examining anything else. Let's pick up the book and gain magical powers. And also probably unleash demons. Yep, you might want to run, servants. If you were sorry at your lot of life before, well... As Max lifts the Tome of Eternal Darkness, a letter slips out from between the pages. Deftly, Max catches it as it drops towards the floor. Scrawled almost indecipherably by a wavering hand. Dear friend, as I suspect, the ruins of... Ungaz... The ruins of Anga, that blasted necropolis, lies deep under the site of the mansion. The accursed servants of Ulioth are so close I can almost hear their chittering. Really? So below the mansion is the necropolis. Okay. There is a secret opening in the basement, and then from there we can gain access. I urge you to gather some men and seal it, or better still, destroy that damned place. I have stowed something that you will find useful on the upper level. Look to the light, and you will find it. I wish that I could be at your side, but my ailment worsens daily, and I know that my time is short. Aaron Roivis. Upper level, look to the light. Okay, I should save. Oh, and also, now that we have the necropolis, or the necropolis, now that we have the tome, we should be able to do magic, right? Yeah. And we should be able to probably make new spells. So, let's see what we have. No, I don't think I can actually make any new spells yet. Yeah, I've got these new runes here from codexes, but I need to, I don't know, free them or something? However that works. Oh, wait. Some other things here. Ornamental saber displayed on the wall. I definitely did not want to do that. Scroll of ancient parchment sits atop a stack of dusty books. It appears to be a spell scroll. Reveal invisible. Oh, that's probably going to be for that secret door in the present. And also, it's probably going to reveal the keyhole to insert the dresser key in, in the present. Okay, well, I'm sure I can't make that yet. Uh, what was I about to do? Oh, right, can I enchant my guns? Heck yeah. Uh... Why are you trying to punch me? Have you been taken over by demons? Because you look pretty normal. Maybe they just really are unpleased at their lot in life. Oh, I have to stay put to reload. Hold on. Hold on. You... 
Whoa! Attempt autopsy. Oh right, I am a medical oh, person. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I don't think that was an autopsy. When an autopsy has been performed, Max can view the new entry by turning to the journal section of the tome and selecting autopsy. Hmm, Ulioth Bone Thief. Creature wears the skins of people to protect itself. Severing its neck kills the creature instantly. Okay, so go for the head, huh? Okay. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Oh, you're not gonna try to kill me, huh? Whoa! Oh no, they're gonna try to kill me. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, I think we need a melee weapon here. Not very good against uh, fast moving enemies. Okay, should be good against this thing, though. Free the magical rune or something. Oh, so I guess if you gain a rune that you like, if there's a spell you can make and you have the spell scroll for it and you gain the rune that allows you to complete it, I guess it auto completes it for you. Okay, well, let's assign that. Ooh, actually. It should be the other alignment, right? Yeah, probably. Fabulous. Is somebody coming for me? <laughs> That's a hallucination thing, isn't it? <laughs> That's hilarious. For like half a second, I was like, what the hell just happened? Okay, so where's the autopsies? Cinema autopsy. Uliath Horror. Although the creature has no eyes, it is far from blind. The horror's latent energy causes an electrical discharge if it comes close. These autopsies are not that helpful so far. One was shoot it in the head and the other one was nothing. You're really cleaning at a time like this. This isn't really happening. Hmm. Okay. Right, so reveal invisible should work for this, right? Well, shit. Does it need to not be that alignment? So I'll try casting it with a different alignment. It didn't work either, okay. I should probably heal myself. Maybe we'll try that again. Oh, 
I don't actually know why I'm going up here. Where am I going? Oh, right. I'm supposed to go to the upper floor, which is this place, and I'm supposed to look towards the light. Wait. Which is probably this. Also, I see something... You see something shining? Like, right there. Max spies an envelope that has fallen behind the pedestal. Uh, fallen, perhaps, or been hidden there. Despite his excitement at this discovery, Max senses something odd about it. A sense of evil. Yeah, take it anyway, it's fine. Perfect! It's weird. You can fire your weapon once, but you can't reload it once. You have to fire both shots to be able to reload. Sealed with a glob of melted wax, an odd rune is pressed into the wax. There appears to be something heavy inside. There's a letter addressed to one of Max's father's aides. Basement key. A small antiquated key somewhat rusted by the ravages of time. This is the key to the basement of the Roivus mansion. Written in a scrawling hand. Dear friend, as I expected, the beasts are drawing closer to our discovery. They want the book for themselves, it seems, and do not want us to have it in our possession. I have taken steps to ensure that their ilk will not touch the key in this envelope, should you fall prey to their claws. The envelope containing the basement key has been sealed with a corrosive magic. If one not aligned to us tries to handle it, it will be released, inflicting pain, suffering, and a grievous blow to their sanity, should they have any left. Be swift with your task. Aaron Roivas. Hmm. Anyone not aligned to us. Okay, what is our alignment, though? I don't actually know. I mean, the only thing I can think of to do with that key is to take it down to that spot where I couldn't get anything to be revealed, right? Does it magically work now that I have the key? I doubt it. Well, this obviously isn't real. Actually, maybe that is. Oh, I should probably enchant it. Oh, so that really didn't happen? I thought it wasn't happening, but then with the rune, I thought it was happening. Well, that sucks. I wanted that rune. Hmm. My weapons are enchanted, though. Right, well, let's try the reveal again. Like, do I need to be aligned to green to do it? Because this is blue, and green is good against blue. I didn't actually... 
gain a rune from that, did I? Oh no, I did! I gained the green alignment. So it wasn't real, but it kind of was real. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, I guess if I need to use something... I guess you don't want to use the thing that matches the color, but the thing that's good against the color. Okay. Simple enough. So in that case, reveal invisible, let's assign that with the green alignment. There we go. Should probably heal too. Now here's a question. If the red alignment is the one that heals me, does that mean my alignment is red? Or does that mean my alignment is green, because red is good against green? It probably means my alignment's red, right? Hmm. Haha. <laughs> This must require the key. You know what, these pistols are actually kind of terrible. So if I'm fighting against blue, then I want green, right? So, actually, let's change our enchant for enchant item. Let's change that to be green. Come on, don't mute it. No! Yeah, forget the pistols. They're terrible. Rusted pump stands by the well. Its handle appears to be missing. Oh, well, we can do something about that. Hmm. I have some questions. But I won't ask them. Damage field. You okay there, Max? <laughs> Damage field. So I wonder if there's any point in trying to make your own spells then. Because it seems like it just auto-completes everything. Maybe when you get enough runes, there are some combinations that you don't find spells for. Okay, damage field. Let's make that green, I suppose. We'll sign it to right. Oh, right, new type of enemy. Autopsy. Hmm. 
Montrock Zombie. A living human corpse that has no special attributes or weaknesses. It's a very... It's very weak, composed of dried sinew and skin. is incredulous at the sight, a desolate ruin of a fantastic city built into a huge naturally formed cave. Jutting spires and looming buildings poke through the dense fog. Light ebbs through the city, crackling in the wake of the energy spilling from a light source held aloft by unseen forces. Oh, this must be the necropolis? It really doesn't look very majestic when it's all high resolution, like you know, when the, the screen is so clear that I can obviously see that it's just a kind of low quality image. So purple, that's the neutral one. You can teleport. You know, this one I actually might want to use my pistols for, huh? Probably should. Let's enchant those. Oh, it auto cupped him? Good. I, should, I also should try out the damage field. What are you doing? Are you teleporting again? Oh, it summoned something. Okay, let's try damage field. Is it still working? Like, is it leaving a damage field here? Oh, it's got a shield on or something. Crap. Yeah, I guess it's leaving a damage field there, it just doesn't display it anymore. Or something? Well, okay, that thing- oh, there we go. Okay, so that worked. It looks like I want to hit it when it's casting. Oh, I think I got it. It's gonna shock you. You really shouldn't touch it. The accursed beast was dead, but not without its toll on me. That was but one. And there was an entire city of them. I could not hope to fight them all alone. I knew I had to get help. I knew there was a way. I just had to find it. Strange creatures 
a world in peril from unseen foes. Instead, they jeered and threw me into this forsaken place. A place of empty souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> the fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! pacing during that chapter at the end was so strange. It's like, yes, I will give you something to help you deal with this ancient evil in the basement. I go to it, it's just a key that lets me open up the ancient evil. It's like, okay. <laughs> the letter says, you know, defeat them all or just fill in the damn entrance so nobody else can go in there. And then you just go there to see what's going on, I guess. I thought I was going to like go there to defeat something, but you just defeat one very easy enemy and then it's like oh there's a whole city of them and then max just leaves reads a book and then ends up in an asylum the end like okay i thought that was gonna go somewhere else anyway i think that's a pretty good place to leave it so i hope you've enjoyed so far and when i return we have now gained the ability to well not only damage field but also probably more importantly to reveal things which should allow us to continue